a bright afternoon in Spencer, family and friends gather for a day of fun on the square. They're all here for Chalk It Up, Owen County's first annual sidewalk art contest. Chalk It Up started through an uh, effort of several counties talking about some common thread that we might get and we put together a plan and we've been able to come up with prizes in two areas, most original for second and third, most lifelike for second and third. And uh, I think we'll have plenty of participants and it's uh, just going very well. The event is intended to bring the community together for food, fun and art. So far we've had 60 kids show up to do the chalk drawing. The only qualifications were to come. We have um, the youngest that is up there is three years old. It was supposed to be four and up, but we fudged because she was so cute. The entry fee was five dollars plus one canned good and they got uh, the chalk it up t-shirt and if they needed it we provided chalk and the big point of all of this is the money goes to scholarships so any proceeds that we have from it will go to provide scholarships for Owen County kids. Oh, that's, that's a cow, Russ. No it's not. That's a cat. No it's not. Well, when this was first advertised back in May, I immediately knew that my nine-year-old would be interested. He's the artist in the family and just something we weren't going to pass up. But what really makes Chalk It Up so special is the way it brings the small town together. I really wanted to do Chalk It Up because this year I won the Art Guild Scholarship, so I wanted to give back to my community and help them. And I've always really liked the idea of chalk art. I, don't know, I drew a mermaid and koi fish to follow like an oriental kind of theme. And I thought it would be interesting to have it so that it looked like if you were looking at it, you'd be looking more like at a scene, kind of more than just like a painting on a sidewalk. It's a lot of fun and like I've heard and I believe that if you're, if you get better in one medium of art, you'll just, you'll improve in all the others. But yeah, it's really, it's, it's like a nice way to like meet people through the community. The event is timed, so as the morning rolls into afternoon, artists from every age group must work quickly to show off their talents. One of our goals is to, is to save a, a, a small town in Indiana. That's really our focus. If you look around this, this town square, it used to be full of uh, businesses, hardware stores, uh, your local drugstore. We have a movie theater right over there that we're trying to recondition and put back together. There's a thriving community. Uh, as, as little as 40 years ago. I had a really good time today, and the looks uh, on the kids' faces, I think they did too, and that's what it's all about too, is, is creating memories for kids. Oh, it's fun. You get out, you talk to a lot of people. You know, I've talked to a lot of people today that I haven't seen for a long time, so it's great to get outside, spend time with your kids. At the end of the event, winners are declared. Good job. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. But for organizers, seeing the town come together is the real mark of success. And unlike the temporary artwork that covers the sidewalks around the square, their hope is that the sense of community pride they've inspired will last long after the next rain.